So this is a look at question 21 from the um, 2012 revised higher physics paper. It says a golfer uh, hits a ball from point P. The ball leaves the club with a velocity V uh, at an angle of theta to the horizontal. So this is the actual velocity uh, which of course can be split into two components. The horizontal component um, going along in this direction and the vertical component going up. Um, but we're not told uh, what those components are and we're not told what V is at the moment. The ball travels through the air and lands at R, uh, fairly close to the hole, and midway uh, between P and R there is a tree of height 10 uh, meters. So uh, we'll carry on and have a look at the rest of the question. Uh, the horizontal and vertical components of the ball's velocity during the flight are shown. And so this is really what's of interest to us uh, in terms of uh, part A1, which we're looking at just now. Uh, the horizontal and vertical components are shown, so the horizontal velocity is 20, uh, and that horizontal velocity component does not change throughout the flight, which lasts for a duration of 3.06 seconds. So the question is, calculate the horizontal distance travelled. And so this can be done very, very simply. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to make a, a little bit of space here. Uh, and we're going to get rid of this um, section here. We don't need this vertical velocity time graph when we're thinking about um, question uh, a part one so we'll just give ourselves space to um, solve the problem over here uh, one of the ways we can do that is uh, thinking about the area under the graph and um, I suppose that's this area right here and um, we're just focusing on um, this section uh, of the uh, the motion and the horizontal uh, velocity so the area is basically the, the base times the height and so if we think about it from that regard, um, the distance travelled is equal to the area, uh, which is equal to 3.06 times 20. And so that gives us uh, a value of um, 61.2 metres, if we do that calculation. So that's one way of looking at it. Of course, we can think about it in uh, the other way and just thinking about the fact that distance is uh, speed multiplied by time. And so if the horizontal speed is 20 and the time is 3.06, well, obviously we're doing the same thing as finding the area under the graph. And so we get the same answer of 61.2. And so that's the uh, obvious ways to solve this problem.